All right, so before we go through and find out if the functions are going to be odd or even, let's just go over the rule. The rule is if you plug in a negative x into a function and get out the original function, meaning that that negative did not have any value, then it is even. However, if you go ahead and plug in a negative x and you get out the same thing as multiplying the function through by a negative one, then the function would be odd. So let's go ahead and start with this one. f of x is equal to x to the third minus x plus two. So we're gonna go ahead and start and everywhere we have an x value, we are going to go ahead and replace with a negative x. This is the same starting point for everything that we do. Now, when I go through and I cube this, that's going to equal a negative x to the third. This negative and negative inside here, the negative and negative, that goes ahead and becomes a positive x plus two. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our signs. Our original function had this being a positive, then a negative, and then a positive. If I look at my new function, all of the signs are not the same. X doesn't stay positive. So right away, as soon as this goes from positive and this goes to negative, we know it is not even. For it to be even, all of the signs must be the same as the original function. For it to be odd though, all of the signs have to be different. So positive goes to negative, good. Negative goes to positive, good. Oh, but wait, the last one did not change. So that means this is also not odd. So this function gets neither odd nor even, so we call this function neither. Let's go ahead and explain this one a little bit different. So again, and what an even function has to be an even function says that if I plug in a negative value for x, you would get out the original function. Well, the original function would have to be x to the third minus x. So let's see if this happens. So if I go ahead and replace negative x everywhere inside here, that would become negative x quantity to the third power minus negative x. So that becomes a negative x to the third and a positive x. That most definitely does not match up with the same. So we know this function is not even. So for something to be an odd function, an odd function says if I replace a negative value it has to be the same thing as multiplying a negative on the outside of the entire function. Well, for that to look like that, I would take and need to change every sign in my function, and it would look like negative x to the third plus x. Well, that is exactly what we have here. So this function is odd. All right, we're gonna do this one the same way we did the last one. So for a function to be even, again, you plug in a negative x everywhere in the function and you would have to get out the original function. For that to happen with this one, the original function, no signs change. So let's see if that works. So if I plug that in a negative x, that would be three times negative x to the fourth power minus two times x to the second power. 
Now, yes, this is what happens. If you notice, both of these exponents here are even. Any negative value to an even exponent will always become positive. So nothing changes here. This becomes 3 x to the 4th minus 2 x squared. So this is an example of an even function. If a function is even, it cannot be odd at the same time. All right, so even functions. If I replace negative x, have to equal exactly the same function. Exactly the same function looks like this. An odd function, if I replace negative inside there, has to look like this, which in this case would be negative 3x to the fourth plus 2x. So is either one of these true? I'll put a little question mark next to those right now. So if I go through and take f and replace negative x everywhere I have that, What happens? And you can probably figure out what the pattern is now. Whenever x is being raised, that negative x is being raised to an even power, it stays the same. So that's going to stay a positive 3x to the fourth. When x is being raised to an odd power, that changes the value here. This matches neither the odd or my even function.